Another thing I want to mention about Brian Boyle, probably, I think it was a good offseason acquisition. If he could help with faceoffs and whatnot, he was never a big producer, obviously not a huge finesse player. You look at all the NHL playoff games he has under his belt now, I think within the last few years he has the most of any player active. You can check that, but you think about it. When the Rangers went to the finals in 2014, and then he played, he got semifinals in 13. Then he was in the finals again in 15, I believe, with the Lightning. And then 2016, I can't remember where he was in the finals. It was Penguins and Sharks. He didn't make it that far, but still, I think he still racked up a lot of playoff games there, too. Can't remember at the moment, but we'll see how it pans out with Brian Boyle. He's on a two-year contract. I think about $4 million each season, maybe a little less than that, I can't remember, but I'm just worried with the stigma with the Devils that it'll turn out bad. He's already kind of off to a bad start with the cancer diagnosis, not that that has anything to do with his play, but we'll see what happens. The only thing that's for sure about hockey is nothing's for sure. Ooh, we can apply it here too.